Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining me. Today, I want to show you how to make a banana holder. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's a banana holder or what good is it? Actually, they help preserve bananas for a fair amount of time instead of putting them in a bowl or in the fridge. All right, so all it is, it's a stand that has a hook on it and you hook your bananas up right on top of it. So I have some leftover pieces here of oak. Not quite certain what they came from, but I'm going to try and use these things to make the banana holder. So, I'll start ask up front, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe, and uh, hey, keep watching. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut these two pieces in half, or pretty close to half. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, let's keep making. Okay, I'm building this thing totally on the fly, and I'm not quite certain how it's going to turn out, so we'll see. I set the angle right now uh, for 15 degrees, so let's make some noise. Okay, next we're going to pick 45s for the feet. So basically I'm looking at something kind of like this. I'm not liking that 15 degrees though. I'm thinking more like 10. Okay, you can kind of see this project's finally starting to come together here real quick. Um, nice little seven little, little kind of a seven looking thing here. I have my uh, splayed feet at a 45, so it's actually 90 degrees here. Plenty of stability. I actually could even cut those probably a little closer, but uh, this should be good. Um, I got about 11 inches from here down to the uh, deck, so that should give me plenty of room. I cut this angle off at 10 degrees because I changed and cut this at 10 degrees. That 15 was a little too, leaning back a little too far, too far for me. So, so 10 degrees here, 10 degrees there, and we are good to go. So, oops. So you saw me uh, round these edges with a uh, router table. Now what I want to do is I want to take these edges here and hit them with a uh, hand plane just to chamfer them and soften them. Then I'll come back and sand all this, sand these, these corners nice and uh, smooth. Then I'll attach these two pieces together and Okay, 220 grit. I'm just going to do some hand sanding here. Take care of the, uh, the edges and the flats. These are already pretty well flat. There's not a lot of checking or anything in them. So we'll be done here in a few minutes. Okay, we'll throw a little glue on this. Now this is end green, so we don't want to starve the joint. We want to make sure there's enough glue. In this case, there's going to be some squeeze out, but hey, we'll have to clean that up. I have a piece back here to kind of make up for the uh, angle. It's not exact, but it's pretty darn close, so it should be good. Mm, there we have it. Okay, once this dries, we'll do a little sanding there. We should be good. Now the hard part is going to be getting the, uh, the feet on. So I'm going to wait until this dries. I'm going to wait until this dries before I actually try the feet. So we'll come back in about two hours and give that a shot. I've got blocks. Uh, hot glued onto these. Those are just clamp blocks. They'll be easy to knock off. You may have noticed me putting a chamfer on these blocks right here so I can get the uh, chisel underneath just in case they get a little on the tight side. They can be a pain to get off sometimes. Um, so all I want to do now is glue them up and clamp them. Makes it easy as pie.
So you notice I am checking to make sure this is fully flat. So it all rests on the ground perfectly. So we're all good. We're clamped up as you can see. See how the blocks make that clamping so much easier. When this dries up, we'll peel these off, do a little bit of sanding. Uh, this glue does leave a little bit of residue. So need to peel that off and sand it out and then uh, we're ready for, for some finish. Boy, I tell you what, the hot glue is perfect for this kind of stuff. It comes off fairly easily with a chisel. Uh, it doesn't leave a residue, so that's pretty good. Then I came back and threw on a coat of uh, stain. It's a Minwax uh, Golden Pecan, mostly because that's the one I happen to have ready to hand, but I like the color of it also. It's one of the reasons I use it. So now all I'm going to do is wipe on some uh, satin polyurethane. This isn't going to be too much. Just drop it on. Let it dry, and then what I'll do is I'll come back, sand it off a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and uh, apply those a couple more times. I'm going to put like two to three coats of this stuff on. It is going into a kitchen, kind of a wet environment, so I used uh, waterproof glue, and this just adds a little more uh, waterproofing to it so it'll survive longer. So we'll be back whenever this is all done. Okay, we're almost wrapped up with this project. I drilled a 1 8 inch hole, all right, because I'm putting in this 1 and a quarter inch cup hook. Now what I've done with this cup hook, I've, I've opened the cup hook up a little bit so that I can make sure I can get the bananas in there. Um, the reason I drew, drilled the hole is because brass is notorious for breaking off whenever you screw it into hardwood. So you really need to make sure that you have a, have a uh, starter hole. So I have it facing backwards. And you can see, perfect. Now, I had a great time making this little project using some scrap material. If you don't have scrap material, just pick up a three foot piece of uh, one by two, oak one by two, or cherry or whatever, and uh, you can make almost the same thing. Um, if you look down at the bottom, hit see more, you'll find a link to my blog, or just go here, 30minutewoodshop.com. You can find a, a dimension sketch there. Also too, when you hit see more, you'll find a bunch of uh, tools and things that I use here in the shop. Explore those links. You might find something interesting. And uh, hey, I had a lot of fun making this, folks. Hope you got something out of this. If you did, do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. And until next time, good making.